And welcome back. Sacramento is home to the largest population of Afghan refugees in California, and some families are still trying to figure out how to get their loved ones out of Afghanistan. ABC 10's Barbara Bingley spoke with a Rockland man who believes his family members have not only been left behind, but are in danger. On the 9th of August, I was at work. I opened my cell phone and I saw Taliban's are running with guns around the city that I remember growing up there. I sat down with this man in his Rockland home. He told me about his family and their status in Afghanistan. My family is still on the run and they are hiding. I'm not able to talk to them. He requested that we do not identify him. This, he says, is for the safety of his loved ones. He says nine of his family members, including his three brothers, his mom and dad and his wife, are all in danger. These Taliban portray themselves as the people who have changed, but they did not change. His family had land, a home, and careers before the government collapsed. He says all of that has disappeared. My father owns a clinic. He, he has enough money to survive. He has a lot of real estate, but right now he doesn't have access to any of those ones. He says he wants people to know life is changing by the second for those in Afghanistan. In one minute, the whole entire world closed your eyes on 38 million people. For the last month, he's been making calls to U.S. citizen and immigration services and lawyers trying to gain humanitarian parole for his family. He says speaking with ABC 10 was his last resort. I'm hoping that somebody from USCIS, somebody in the government, somebody who have the ability, hear this voice and look at into these applications. I want them to do this before it is too late. It's already late. The decision to pull U.S. troops out of Afghanistan has been controversial. Supporters say the U.S. accomplished its mission and the war was unwinnable. But critics say the U.S. is ignoring the human rights concerns that they left behind. 